All right, what is going on guys? So it's finally time. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it. Where's the Human Torch video? The rank up and everything. So boom, here we go. So this is, I just pulled them. Uh, this was recorded when I was camping and so yeah, I'd I be level zero right now. So I'm gonna go sell all my ISO and we're just ranking this guy up. So I got a lot of ISO after opening all those uh, Human Torch G, uh, Cavalier crystals, not GMCs. Uh, and I had some already in the uh, in the stash. So yeah, we should have enough ISO to really rank them up. Hopefully it's a lot of ISO from rank one, level one to rank five, level 65. So yeah, it's quite a bit, but uh, we're gonna get there. So there is uh, the first amount of leveling done. Uh, and then I had to cut here because I uh, I ran out of the tier three science catalyst. So I went and got popped open a bunch of crystals, got those, and uh, yeah, now we're gonna rank them up. And I, I keep running out of catalyst throughout this opening. Like I I don't have the catalyst, but I have the means to get them. Like I have crystal stuff to get them. Uh, and it's about to be really rough after. So right here we have enough to rank them up. You see there, I have seven of the uh, science catalysts. Uh, but we're gonna run out when we need to take them to rank five and oh my god getting those science catalysts is brutal I don't think I it took me it literally took like five minutes just to get the catalyst of like what I had to do So I cut out a lot of that. I'll, I'll just show popping them a couple of tier 4 CC crystals, but uh Yeah, so right here I have just enough to take them up to rank four. She needs some tier 1 alphas from the stash. We're good. Go ahead and rank them up um, yeah, I'm out of tier 4 basics now, but the good thing is we only need tier 5 tier five basics to rank them up again, so I'll get on that front. Uh, still got a lot of ISO left, so that's that's really good. I, I had like a, just a ton of science ISO, this really worked great. Uh, so there, there we go, rank 5, uh, rank 4 at level 50. Almost there, man. So I'll, a lot of you guys are wondering, or I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, why I'm doing this. Why am I taking Human Torch to rank 5? Uh, in and of itself and on top of that unduped like you must be thinking like I'm crazy um, so uh, I'll try to explain here uh, because a lot of people think that human torch isn't the best champion and I'm not saying he's the best in the game uh, but he is way better than people give him credit for man he is awesome he really is he's super cool and he's good he is really good uh, and I, I don't know I, I feel like the hype for Human Torch was like crazy, so the ex expectations for him were like here. When he came out, he was like here, which is good, but uh, it just wasn't quite at the expectations. Um, but people kind of think of him as like more so like down here, um, but he's not. He's higher than that. You know, he just didn't quite meet people's expectations, which is the bad thing about expectations. Uh, but he's still really good, man. He's very underrated, extremely underrated. And I'm going to try to make a bunch of videos about him, showing him off. Probably make a guide to him, too, just to really show how to get off his best damage and how to use him best. Uh, and one really cool thing is, like, I, I have a lack in my roster of Incinerate. So he's going to cover that. He also covers Incinerate and Cold Snap Immunity. Um, and also, he's just one of the best matchups for Mystics. He's just so good versus Mystic Champions. So I really wanted to highlight that. Uh, so right here I actually claimed a Tier 5 Basic from the Overflow. I had one in the Overflow, so I needed to take a, ch take a Champion to Rank 5. That was another reason why I took him up, because I had to take someone up. And I really wanted to take him or Nick Fury to Rank 5. Uh, that's why I opened the, the GMC, the Cavaliers for him. Because he was one of my very desired Champions. Uh, we got him, so I took him up, no hesitation there. Uh, I kind of had to anyways, so that's why. But uh, let's show him off versus some Mystic Champs. We're in Act 6, Chapter 2. I think we're in the first quest. And so Ebony Maw, super annoying defender, man. Human Torch is one of the best matchups for Ebony Maw for a couple of reasons. One, Human Torch just straight up counters Ebony Maw, man. Um, or not even Ebony Maw, Mystic Champs, but as well as Ebony Maw. Like, just... She's crazy versus Mystic Champs. Every hit that they do to you, you get a Smolder, and Smolders just do so much for you. Uh, it's great. It's really great. Uh, and as you can see right there, Miss failed. So basically, when Human Torch is above 10 temperature, uh, and basically the Smolders let his temperature stay higher for longer, uh, it basically just decreases slower, and also every time you Smolder, you get a 5 a temperature. So as long as you're above 10 temperature, you can't miss. So Shreps counters Ebony Maw's miss mechanic there, which is great. 
I can see right there I charged a heavy attack before I used my special three. That's a neat little trick just to, because that's how you uh, increase your, 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 your temperature by charging heavy. So if you can't really get an in, you can't really stun the opponent, just charge it and drop the L3. It's kind of a safe way to do it. Um, so yeah, right here we hit a Nova Flame because we're so hot and uh, yeah, it's doing some great damage, man. Now, my one problem with Human Torch is his pre-fight ability. I really like the pre-fight ability. I just wish uh, you could. it was easier to get. Maybe you could have more than one at a time, uh, like one persistent charge at a time. Uh, and I, like if he was his pre fight ability, if he was like that all the time, he'd be he'd be so good. But I, I guess you just kind of got to use it right. Um, so yeah, this seventy mom's dead, dude. As you can see, that that looked easy. Like that, that's awesome. Really awesome counter to Ebony Maw, dude. Love it. And just to Mystic Champs in general. So we've got two more fights. we got a Dormammu, and then we have a uh, Symbiote Supreme, the boss. And I think I'll pop the pre fight ability on that last fight to show it off. And uh, yeah, one other reason why I took up Human Torch was because right now we have Thing, Invisible Woman, and Human Torch. And Human Torch and Thing, they synergize really well. They, they give each other some pretty good stuff. Basically, Human Torch starts the fight with two Smolders which those are really big. Uh, you have to use, if your opponent doesn't do any energy damage and they're not a mystic, then you kind of just have to use your special three to smolder. Um, but with Thing, you start with two, which is huge, man. And Thing, it's easier to just stack up his Furies quicker. So that, that's a great synergy for him, actually, uh, if you're trying to do damage with him and you don't want the fight to take forever. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and the, the, the Synergy with Invisible Woman is actually also pretty good. I don't have her to test it, uh, but basically it just really helps with block damage. So that's cool. But the, the thing I'm really focused on is when Mr. Fantastic comes, the fourth Fantastic Four member, I feel like there's just going to be some insane synergy if you have all four of them together. So I, I, I feel like it's going to be crazy. And I, I just hope Mr. Fantastic also just gives Human Torch a great synergy in and of itself. I'd really, really love to see uh, a synergy where Human Torch starts the quest with two Persistent Chargers, so he can activate his Prefight ability twice, or maybe use, I had an idea, maybe use like five Special Threes in a fight uh, to gain a Persistent charge or something like that, a way to get them, like, to, like basically like a mission and you do this mission, you get a charge. Like how with Corvus and Proxima, you know, like you do a mission, you get something. You know, like I, I want Human Torch to have that. Because um, right now, the only other way to get uh, more persistent charges towards his pre-fight ability is if he's awakened, there's like a chance to get them on every fight. And if you don't get it, then the chance just goes up. Like that's just, just that's the definition of RNG. So, no, I'd rather not. Uh, and as you can see, we took down that Dormammu. Pretty great, man. Like he's he's just so much fun to use versus Mystic Champs. It's awesome, really awesome. Uh, he also has some really good uh, heal reverse mechanics. He actually like rivals Void in heal reversal, uh, and you don't even need the pre-fight ability for that. If you have Despair Max, um, each incinerate on Human Torch. Uh, stops healing by like I think it's 20% and if you have despair max I think that's 15% so one incinerate debuff that would be 35% uh, and if you're stacking those up man you're reversing that regen quick right here again this was these fights were recorded when I was camping so I was using uh, data and my pre fight ability was just not working here it just, the game did not want to load I'm trying to pop out of the game to get it to load sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't and here it's just not loading I'm like okay uh, I guess I'm gonna have to restart the game let's give it like another couple seconds uh, and it does work get you give it a sec there we go flame on activated so now we're using the pre fight ability and this is like human torch like super saiyan mode um, it's just it's awesome so basically on every hit every every medium every first light attack and every second medium or just every medium in general, uh, you can see we place one of those little passive looking incinerates, um, and we also place a power sting. 
Uh, and right now, uh, at the start of the fights when I'm bleeding, uh, it, it kind of gimps my incinerates because uh, it decreases the, 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 the time by four seconds. So once I stop bleeding, then we really get into business. Uh, but yeah, man, it's in flame on mode, it's just so great. You're applying so many incinerates, you're applying, and they just do more, way more damage. Uh, you're applying power stings, so when your opponent uses a special attack, they take a bunch of damage. Like, dude, this is the boss, and he is just melting. Like, if Human Torch had this pre fight ability for every fight, dude, he would just be so good. Uh, but I, I do like the aspect of, you know, save it for the right fight. I just wish there's a better way to kind of like charge it, like I was saying. Hopefully when Mr. Fantastic comes, there's a cooler synergy. Uh, so I'm just trying to kill him because the global node, uh, there we go, the incinerates do the work. I just had to take down the shield. And dude, that was the boss. I'm pretty sure that was the fastest fight because we had the flame on. Uh, just super quick fight, 37 hits, man. That was, that was beast, that was beast, dude. That was an Act 6, Chapter 2 boss decimated uh, incinerated you could say um but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this human torch uh rank up and gameplay uh he's rank five now let me know if there's any specific fights you guys want to see me do put it down below i got a couple ideas uh i'm thinking about making a guide just how to use him uh and explain you know more in depth why i think he's underrated uh why people don't really give him the spotlight that i think he deserves because uh, i think he's pretty good but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you did enjoy. If so, drop a like. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more content to come. And hit the little, the little bell for some notifications if you want to know when my videos uh, are posted. Be the first one to watch them. But that's going to do it, guys. Hope you did enjoy. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.